What's going on basketball fans? Akil Augustine here with another Wellness Wednesdays powered by Jameson Vitamins. This week we have Jana Webb, the founder of Joga. For those of you who don't know what Joga is, it's a three-dimensional neuromuscular movement system and it adheres to how athletes move and train, incorporating both static and dynamic movements cohesive to the biomechanics required for sport. So teams use Joga to enhance performance, uh, improve concentration, and decrease recovery time. And also just to Overall, step their game up. So, I hand you out the Jana now. Hi everybody, welcome to Wellness Wednesdays brought to you by Jameson Vitamins. My name is Jana Webb. And I'm going to take you through a yoga workout today. This is something the rats have used in the past to stay mobile, to stay strong, and of course, stay mentally focused. Let's have some fun. All right, so let's get right into it. We're going to start in a high plank position. So your leg is sent back, your hands are right underneath the shoulders. And one thing we talk to athletes about is this foot to hand connection in every movement. So push your feet down, push your hands down. And then you're going to bend the knees, take the pressure off the hamstrings, and lift your hips up and back into an upside down knee. And the idea here is to keep this time under tension. So the feet are pushing into the floor. You're squeezing your belly in. Head is always up, spreading the fingers tension through the hands. And then we'll come into some hamstring mobility. Step your feet forward. Bring your hands right onto your quads. Roll your shoulders back. And then you're going to transfer the weight into the fronts of your feet. Hinge until you get like a 6 out of 10 stretch into the backs of your legs. So you don't need to touch your toes to get a hamstring stretch. And then transfer the weight to the heels, bend at the knees, push the knees past the toes to get the Achilles. Moving between these two positions, so inhale, extend forward, activate the hamstrings, exhale, bend into the knees, holding here. Moving into some joint mobility and stability. So the thumbs are going to come to the shoulders, you're going to reach your arms out wide, spreading your fingers. And then coming up to the toes of the left foot, and then you're going to doors and flex your left ankle joint, so flick that foot up. And then we're going to inhale, we're going to balance on that front leg, extending the left leg back behind us. And then as you exhale, you're going to bend both knees, tap the knees together, load that right knee joint. And then we'll do another round. Inhale, extend out, balance. As you exhale, bend both knees, get low into that right knee. Let's do one more and hold. Inhale, extend out, now hold here. And then we re cue so you doors like left side ankle, core is engaged, hands are active. And now we're going to load that right knee joint. So basketball, a big piece of the puzzle is load management. So we're going to load that right knee. And then inhale. We're going to spring up. Exhale. Knee tracks forward. Three, two, one. Inhale up. Last time, you're going to bend that right knee. And then we're going to hold. And we're going to stabilize that right knee. Firing all those intrinsic muscles around the knee. Hold here. Now we're going to hamstring pull that left leg. Squeeze the glute to open that left hip joint. Set the feet knees together, reach the arms forward. And then we find this big recovery breath. Big inhale, big pause and exhale. You're gonna stay with your arms, it's gonna turn the face forward. We're gonna work on some rotation now. So you're gonna bring the feet together, squeeze your legs together. Bring your thumb to your chest plate. There's a space there between your abdominal wall and your abdominal and your sternum. You're gonna push your finger pads towards one another, roll your shoulders back. Get low into your knees, hips and ankles. And then we're going to look in their moves. So you're going to look to the right and then rotate to the right. Look forward, come back to center. Look and then move. Look forward, come back forward. Now look to the right and hold to the right. Keep that rotation. Now sit deeper. So the more flexion, more bend you can get into those knees, good, the more mobility we're going to get in the upper body. So take a big inhale, squeeze your legs together, rotate a little bit more. Great. Right, now look forward and then reach your arms forward. And then we're going to work on the wrist joint. So I want you to make stop signs with your hands. Spread the fingers, pull your belly in, and then flick your wrist down, just like a free throw. Reach the hands up, spread the fingers, and then flick the wrist down. One more, flick the hands up, now hold here. Stay strong in the legs, squeeze your legs, stabilize the core, chest, crown, head up. And then just spring out of it, forward, fold. Take that finger covering breath, big inhale, big exhale. Coming back into your hamstring mobility, so lift and extend the spine. Bend your knees, reach your arms down inside, roll the shoulders back, zip up your core, come onto the toes of the left foot, lift that foot up, and then just reverse lunge straight back behind you. 
Now I'm going to bend the left knee, take that pressure off that tight hip. Lift the right heel, activating the glute and the hamstring on the right side. Moving into athletic lunge. Take an inhale, lift your pelvic floor. As you exhale, you're going to lower down and squeeze your belly in, squeeze your left glute, get that hip extension. And then inhale, come straight back up. Exhale, lower down, knees track forward. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower down, now hold here. Transfer the into your right heel. That right knee is going to stay stable. Power lunge. Straighten the back leg. Reach your arms down and back. So it's like someone pulling you back, punching you in the center, but the chest is proud. And then you're going to bend your left knee. Push your right heel down. Activate that glute. Drive back up in. Good. Straighten that back leg. Pull forward. Back into your athletic lunge. Now hold here. Last little bit of rotation. Bring the thumbs to the shoulders. Zip up your core. Stabilize your lower back. And then rotate to the right. Open up the arms. See both your thumbs in your prep break. Hold on to it. Now straighten your right left leg. Bring your thumbs back to the chest. Take an inhale. Push your front foot into the floor. That's called kinetic energy. Let that move your body. And then athletes look and then move. Look forward. Move forward. Find that end range. Hold. Reach. Bring the hands to the floor. Squeeze your belly and step to high plank position. Hold here. Now bend your knees, lift your butt, and come into that upside down knee. Again, focus on that big recovery breath. Big inhale. Big awesome exhale. The shoulders are really tight. You're going to turn the palms out and widen the arms. Take the pressure off the shoulders. Use your legs. And then we'll do all that on the other side. So look forward. Bring your legs forward. Bring your hands onto the quads. Lift and lengthen. And then exhale. We'll right into that low squat. Push the knees past the toes. Give the Achilles. Working on joint mobility stability again, so spread the fingers wide. Come onto the toes of the right foot. And then doors up, that's that ankle. Working on proprioception, so what our body feels like while we're in space. Inhale, extend out. Keep that foot to hand connection. And then as you exhale, you're bending both knees, stabilizing that left knee joint. Inhale, mobilize. And exhale, stabilize. Last time, you're going to inhale, hold your balance. So the thing that will help you with your balance is your breath. So control your body with your breath. Inhale, slow exhale. Now we're going to load that left knee joint. Three, two, one. Hold. Inhale, spring up. Exhale, three. Knee tracks forward. Two, one. Fast twitch on the way up. Slow twitch on the way down. This is what builds stabilization. Three, two, hold here. Stabilize that left knee. Now we're gonna hamstring curl that right leg, get that dynamic stretch into the quad. Squeeze the glutes open that right hip. Set the feet knees together, reach the arms up. That recovery breath, big inhale. Big awesome exhale. Stay where you are. T-mobility. Come back into your low squat. Thumbs to the xiphoid, shoulders roll back, pressure in the finger joints. Look and then move. Take a deep inhale. Look left and then move left. That's it. And then go ahead, look forward and move forward. Look left. Move left. Look forward. Move forward. So it's like running down the court, catching a ball behind you. Look left. Now keep your rotation. Get lower to your legs. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale. Squeeze your adductor to inner thighs. That's part of your core muscle group. Rotate more. That's it. And now look forward. Keep your squat. Reach your arms forward. Shoulder mobility. Reach forward. And then you're pulling your shoulder blades back into your back pocket. Stay strong in the spine. Inhale. Reach forward. And retract. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach, retract, hold, sit lower, squeeze your legs, zip up the core, chest out, active hands, and then spring out of it. Forward fold. Recover. Big inhale. Big exhale. Right into that hamstring mobility. So again, push your hands into the quads, roll the shoulders back. Bend into the knees, low squat, reach the arms down by the side. Hands are play ready. Spread the fingers, roll the shoulders. Belly in. Come onto the toes of the right foot, doors that flex that right ankle, reverse lunge, step that right foot all the way back. Knees are tracking forward. We bend the right knee, lift the left heel, glute knee, hamstring activated for power movements forward, so running and sprinting. From here, we're just going to lower down, we're going to squeeze the belly, activate, squeeze that right glute, get that dynamic stretch into the right hip, and then inhale, come straight back up. Exhale, lower down, inhale, come straight back up. Exhale, lower down, hold here. Transfer the weight into that left heel. Left knee, hip and ankle stay stable. Straighten that back leg, hinge forward, swing your arms down and back. So we're just breaking down the mechanics of the jump. Bend that right knee, push the left heel down, use that to drive up, inhale. One more, exhale, hold forward. 
Bend that right knee, power, inhale, hold here. Thumbs to shoulder, walk in the lower back. Don't twist the knees and the hips, just move your upper body to the left. Open up the arms, see both thumbs in your press for you. And then straighten out that leg, bring your thumbs back to the chest. Tension the finger joints, building strength into the hands. Take an inhale, push that front foot into the floor, and rotate them, exhale, kinetic energy. Look forward, move forward, reach and pull, find that end range. Hands to the floor, step to high plank position. Big inhale, big hoss up, exhale. Core, hands come down onto the floor, Florence. Connecting that kinetic chain, push your feet into the floor. Push your hands into the floor, slide forward. And then push your heels back, stay strong. Slide forward and back, slide forward, hold. Now I want you to focus on pushing your hands into the floor. Feel that connectivity to that deeper abdominal wall. Take one more breath. Now push your heels back, stay strong. Come up to high plank position. Bend your knees butt up, downward facing dog. Big inhale, recover, exhale. Once more, big inhale, big hoss and exhale. Now we're gonna put all those moves together, so go ahead, look forward, inhale, let's extend through the spine. Exhale, little forward fold. Bend into the knees, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, thumbs to chest, like get your butt back. Inhale, breathe in. Rotate to the right, exhale. Take an inhale, squeeze your legs with you. Look forward, reach as low as you can. Spring out of it, forward fold. Inhale, look up, shoulders roll back. Bend your knees, reach your arms down by the side. Roll the shoulders back, pick up the left foot, reverse lunge, pause. Bend your left knee, drive your right foot down into athletic lunge, inhale. Thumbs to chest, exhale. Straighten your back leg, hip hinge, rotate to the right, exhale. Take a deep inhale, push that front foot into the floor, use that kinetic energy to find rotation, exhale. Look forward. Move forward, reach, hold. Hands to the floor. Belly in, step to high plank. Bend your knees, butt up, down dog. Recover breath. Inhale through the nose. <sighs> Exhale through the mouth. Look forward, step your right foot forward. Stabilize this right knee, put the left leg and the arms up. Stick your balance. Inhale, spring out of it. Exhale, low that joint. Hands to control your left leg. Squeeze the glute to open the hip. Step the feet knees together. Reach the arms up. Recover breath, inhale, big hoss and exhale. Thumbs to chest, get your butt back, sit up low. Inhale through the nose, breathe into the chest, rotate to the left, exhale. Take an inhale, squeeze your legs together, rotate a little bit more. Good, look forward, move forward. Get as low as you can into those ankles and knees, and then spring out of it, forward fold. Inhale, look up, realign the spine, shoulders go back. Bend into the knees, arms reach down by the side. Hands are play ready. Roll the shoulders back. Stabilize the spine. Come onto the toes of the right foot. Flick that foot up. Balance. Stretch back into lunge. Bend the right knee. Push your left heel down. Drive up into athletic lunge. Inhale. Thumbs to chest. Tension the finger joints and the wrist joints. Straighten your back leg. Take an inhale through the nose. Rotate to the left. Exhale. Breathe here. Inhale. Push that front foot down into the floor. Find more mobility. That's it. Look forward, move forward, hold. Hands to floor, step to plank. Bend your knees, push your hips up and back. Downward dog, big inhale, recover, exhale. Step the left foot forward. Knee is stable, pick the right leg and the arms up, balance here. That's it, straight back left leg, low that joint. Hands to pull your right leg, squeeze the glute, open the hip. Step the feet knees together, reach up, inhale. Right away, forward, full exhale. Inhale, extend through the spine. Bend to the knees. Last one, I'm gonna work here for core. Breath and core. So you're gonna take an inhale, 30 exhales through the mouth. Let's go, inhale, 30 exhales. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale. Bend the knees, lift the hips, downward dog, exhale, recover. Big inhale, let it all go, exhale. And then no reaction to the work, just right into child's pose. Wide knees, toes touch. Bring the head onto two fists. Rock the forehead from left to right. There's another pressure point there for relaxation. And then find the breath. Big inhale. Big hasa and exhale. Big inhale. No reaction. Big hasa and exhale. Last thing we're gonna do for mental focus. So those days where you wake up and things are a little bit fuzzy. You're gonna bring your hands together. 
You're going to rub your palms together, create some heat to the hands. And then you're going to take your hands onto your eyes. So there's a space between your eyeball and your eyebrow bone that stimulates the vagal nerve, which is our relaxation response. You're going to push your hands into the eye. With your eyes closed, you're going to look up to the top of the head and stretch the dura in your brain. And then you're going to take a deep inhale, breathe in. And a big ha sound, exhale. This time, think of something super positive. Breathe that all in. Inhale, breathe in. Hold the breath at the top, hold that positive thought. And then exhale, just let go of any type of negative thoughts. Let it go. And then just bring your hands down to prayer position, taking a moment, bow your head to yourself. And always being super grateful that we had the choice just to move and breathe today. Opening the eyes. Namaste, my friends. Thank you for joining me for Wellness Wednesdays brought to you by Janus and Vitamins. Just remember, everybody, keep moving, keep your core strong, keep your mind focused, stay healthy. Thank you so much, Janet, and for you guys at home, make sure to use those tools and tips. If you ever miss an episode of Jameson's Wellness Wednesday series, you can check out the Jameson Vitamins Wellness Hub inside the Toronto Raptors app. And also make sure to check out jamesonvitamins.com where you can use that Raptors promo code to get 25% off selected items. I'm Akil Augustine. I'm after the Toronto Raptors, Jana, and Jameson Vitamins. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and please keep health and wellness at the forefront of your mind when you go about your business.